Welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Aureline Gonzalez Pagan, and I'm also known as a crafty Latina. I love sharing tips and tricks on how to use your Cricut to optimize your time and your dollars, and also how to use Canva um, to do your digital design. And it's using Cricut to create your project, to create the image, and then I'm gonna show you how to upload it onto Canva so that you could create a quick mock-up and put it up on your shop without actually having to create the item. So make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss future videos. And let's get started. Okay, so we're in Cricut Design Space. Let's just, we're in Halloween. I'm just gonna design a shirt um, for Halloween. I'm gonna go to the left in images. I'm actually gonna search for which. I'm gonna try and do a cute shirt that I had in my head. Um, but I wanna find like a cute, which not, it's, this one's cute, but I wanna find something that's a little more cartoon, like this. So see, sometimes when I find something like this, I want three witches, but I don't want them all to be the same. So I will go into this little eye here that just means information on the image itself. And it's going to tell you there's an image set that goes with this. So maybe I'll find different ones in there too that I can use. And oh, this gives me an idea. I'm going to click on this cute little ghost. And I'm going to find my little witch that I was looking for. Let's see if she has a friend. Okay, this is an option. Perfect. Here goes one. Here goes two. I needed three. I'm going to use the little ghost as one. I saw something else that I want to use. I want to use the word boo from here. I don't want anything else, but I'm going to bring everything into my project. Okay, so now we have four images at the bottom that I want to use. I'm going to add it to my canvas. All right, so here are my little witches. Here's one, here's two. This one's gonna be the last one. This one's the one that's gonna say boo. I think that's perfect. So I like her. I don't want this gray thing at the bottom, so I just find it where the image is and just hide it. I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. Find wherever that gray piece is and just hide it. And then I'm gonna make her small. Oh, I need a cauldron. I gotta go back and find myself a cauldron for this project. Okay, going back to images. There's my cauldron. Okay, so now I wanna have text at the top of my two little witches. I'm gonna separate her a little bit, but I wanna make sure the two of them are aligned at the bottom. Okay, and then I'm gonna click the text box. And my goal is to write um, bibbity bobbity, and then this one's boo. So I'm gonna write bibbity, and I'm using the amar. It's people say amarillo, but I'm Puerto Rican. It's amarillo, which is yellow. Um, so that's the font that I'm using, and that's what it looks like, and I love it. And I downloaded that from the font. Gonna change the color to a dark. Purple, so I can sort of match this one. Make that smaller. I'm gonna come back and do something else with it, but right now I just wanna keep it there, make it small. I'm gonna duplicate it. Move the copy over to the second one, and all I have to do on this one is change bibbity to bobbity. Perfect. So now I wanna I want to curve it around her hat. So I'm going to go up here to the curve feature and I'm just going to the diameter. I'm just going to eyeball it just where I like it. I like it there. I'm just bobbity. And you see how you can see it's not welded. It's some of the lines um, are in between. I don't like that you can see the spacing. So I'm going to go into letter space and just click hitting, keep hitting the down arrow until everything comes closer together and you don't see all of those um, broken lines. And then I'm just gonna weld it, come down to the bottom right. I'm on my PC, I'm just gonna weld it. And I'm gonna do the same thing to Bibbidi. I'm gonna go ahead and curve it first. I'm just gonna go ahead and curve it. Just give it some little curve. And then the same broken lines, I wanna get rid of that. Go up to my letter space, hit Hitting on the down arrow until I like it. Go ahead and weld. 
Okay, so this is the final product. This is what I want on my t-shirt. So now what I want to do is I want to get this image into Canva so that we can do a mock-up of a t-shirt without having to actually create the t-shirt. So I'm on my PC and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my Windows key, my Shift key, and then click on the letter S, S as in Sam. So again, I hold down my window key and my Shift key together and, and press down the S and the snippet menu comes up and you'll see this come up and I always keep this one, which is like, um, it's like a rectangle snip, but all I do is with my mouse, um, I just drag across the area that I want to snip and it's just going to be the image. Don't worry about the white background. We're going to deal with that in Canva. So once it clicks, it just, it comes back to your image. You know that it's automatically has saved in the background and you have that. So now let's go to Canva. Okay. So now I'm in Canva and I'm going to do come up here and I'm going to do create a design. I'm in Canva Pro and some of these features that we're going to use, you will need Canva Pro and I'll put a link at the bottom where you can have a free trial for Canva Pro to see if, if it's something useful for you. So I'm going to come down to the bottom and hit custom size and I'm just going to do a 600 by 600 um, design just to have a white space to work with. Okay, so this is our white space that we're going to work with. I'm going to go to photos now and I'm going to just type um, t-shirt mock-up and you're going to get a lot of choices and some will say pro and then some um, like this one will say free. The other thing you can do is you come up here. This is sort of like a filter and I click free and you just apply filters and it's only going to show you stuff that's free. Um, yeah, I like this one. I'm going to use this one. This one's cute. I like the hat. So it comes in and this one was free and then I just wanted to fill this space and I don't want all of this color on the top so I just bring it down and then make it big to fill the box. Don't worry that it's not like in the spot like it doesn't matter if it goes over to the sides like if you if I drag it this much it doesn't matter it's only going to download it's only going to use what's within your 600 by 600 so this is what we're going to use. Now, remember, we use the window shift S to clip that image. So now I'm just going to click on the image here and I'm just going to do control V. So it's like pasting. You cannot do right click and paste in Canva if you're bringing something from outside. You have to use control V. And there it is. It literally, you don't have to download it from Cricut. You don't have to save it. You don't have to upload it here. You literally copy and paste. We don't want this white background. So I'm just going to click on it. And I believe one of the pro features on this is you'll hit edit image at the top and you are able to remove your background. So I'm going to click on that. So it makes it transparent. Okay, that's good. And look, there's your transparent background. All I have to do now is move this around, resize it, move it around the shirt so that it looks like it belongs there. Center the graphics, move it a little higher. And then click out of it so you can see. I think that looks great. And the only way to really tell, let's make it full screen. And that's what your mock-up is gonna look like. I think it's amazing. And then all you have to do, once you like whatever image is that you're using, go back to your Canva, you hit download, make sure you download it as a PNG, and then just hit download and it saves onto your computer and then you can go ahead and upload it to wherever it is, whatever shop you have or wherever it is that you wanna um, promote it and show it. But quick and easy, that's, um, without having to actually create the t-shirt and promote your images that way. If you found this useful, make sure to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Until next time, it's a crafty Latina. Thank you.